Do you know what this is called? A book. Very good. A book has lots of words and it tells us a story. When we start reading a book, do I start reading here? No, that is called the back of the book. We want to make sure we are starting at the front where the title is. The title is the name of the book and where there's a good beautiful illustration or picture to show us what the book is about. When we start reading, we're always going to start, get your finger, at the very top of the book to the very left. And we read this way. Can you do that with me? Get your finger ready. Point with me. This way. We read from left to right, top to bottom. All right, my friends? Now, like I said, this the title of the book is the name of the book. The title of this book is Germs Are Not For Sharing. <gasps> what is a germ? Well, germs are all around us. What are these people doing down here? Yeah, they're washing their hands because we need to have clean hands. If we don't have clean hands, we have lots of germs on our hands and germs are yucky. Germs are why we are at home learning instead of at school where there's a playground because we have to stay safe from the big germ that is making lots of people sick. So I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna read you this story, Germs Are Not For Sharing, to show you how you can protect your family and yourself from the big germ so that we can go back to school. Sound good? All right. Remember, when we flip the pages, we hold it at the corner and we turn super nicely. This is called Germs Are Not For Sharing. Look, I'm going to. Can you show me where I start reading? All right, there are no words over here. So we're gonna still start at the top left and we're gonna read this way. All right, here we go. What are too small to see, but can have the power to make you sick? That, what, is, what is she talking about? Germs, germs are yucky. Can you say that? Germs are yucky, yeah, they make us sick. Germs. They're in the air, in food and water, on your body, and all things you touch. But not all germs are bad. But still, germs are not for sharing because germs can make you <coughs> sick. A chew, a chew. What do you do when you sneeze? Was that okay what I did? A chew! No, I got germs all over my friends. When you sneeze, you wanna dab. Can you dab for me? Ready? Dab. When you have to sneeze, you're gonna sneeze into your dab like this. A chew! Can you practice? Ready? A chew! Very good. That's how we keep our friends safe from germs. And when you use a tissue, you grab it for yourself you blow your nose and you throw it away. Do you throw your tissue on the floor? Ugh, no, germs would get on your friends. What do I, what if I use a tissue? Do I give my dirty tissue to you? Never, because germs are so sad and should not be shared. <coughs> Was that the good way to cough? No, remember. When you cough, you need to get tissue or you can <coughs> dab. Let's practice coughing into our dab, ready? <coughs> there you go. If you cough or sneeze, if you accidentally cough or sneeze in your hands like this, achoo, or <coughs> do you wanna go touch friends? No, cause that means you have germs all over your hands and that's disgusting. If you cough <coughs> or sneeze, achoo, into your hands, you want to hurry to the sink and wash them with warm water and soap because germs are not for sharing. When germs get on your hands, they can spread to other people. When you hold hands or play games or give each other high fives, your germs are left behind. 
here are some places that you can find germs. So after you touch one of these places, you need to go wash your hands, like a doorknob, your shoes, if you go to the playground, money, your phone, animals, uh, after you use the restroom, after you go pee pee or poo poo, you need to go wash those hands because nobody wants those germs. And this is how you get rid of germs. What is she doing? Yeah, she's washing her hands. You want to scrub, scrub, scrub your hands together. You want to scrub. Look, they have lots of soap in their hands and they're washing them. Are they touching each other? No, because they because germs are not for sharing. Here are some good times to wash your hands before you eat. So before you pick up your food, you need to go wash your hands. After playing outside or playing with animals, you need to go wash your hands. After you cough or a chew, sneeze, you need to go wash your hands. And especially after using the restroom, you need to go wash your hands. His hands are all clean because he did what? He washed his hands with, what do you use to wash your hands? Soap, very good. The end. All right, my friends. Can you tell Miss Walashek when you should wash your hands? Tell me one time you should wash your hands. Yeah, I agree. It's Especially when you go to the restroom, right? After you go to the restroom, you need to wash your hands. And what do you use to wash your hands? You just use water? Nope. What do you put? Soap. You scrub, scrub, scrub. Great job, my friends. Thank you for listening.